Good morning, Oklahoma. Welcome to Cow Calf Corner. Our topic this week is anaplasmosis. I've had a couple producer calls in the last couple weeks. Some people have lost some cows. And so we go back and revisit this topic. Anaplasmosis is a disease that gets carried by flies and ticks. Those that take a blood meal off one cow and potentially go take another blood meal off another cow can spread anaplasmosis. In a best case scenario, we're gonna see outbreaks where our cows begin to get sick, maybe have abortions, maybe act lethargic. We could potentially bring them back with some antibiotic treatment. In a worst case scenario, typically we know that we've got an anaplas outbreak when we start seeing dead cows. On the upside, anaplas typically only impacts cattle that are two years of age or higher. But there are several best management practices that we can effectively use to control this disease and prevent any death loss. And with the value of cattle right now, protecting our investment, avoiding that risk of anaplas, and making sure that our inventory stays intact is very important to our bottom line. So what can we do as far as best management practices to control anaplas? First thing is talk to your veterinarian. You're gonna need a vet client relationship in order to get a VFD prescription written in order to buy an anaplas control mineral supplement. A low level of antibiotic incorporated into a mineral effectively controls anaplas in cow herds. Cows consume that mineral, gets that low level into their blood system, and they are effectively immune with consistent intake of that. You've gotta have that vet client relationship, that script that's gonna to have to be written and sent to your vendor wherever you're buying mineral is a very important step in that. What else can we do from a standpoint of management to prevent anaplas? Don't share needles as you are working cows. If you are castrating, dehorning, anything where you've got metal instruments or a syringe involved where you're potentially transferring blood from one animal to the next is a bad way, or I should say, a very effective way to spread anaplas. And so swapping needles animal to animal making sure we don't do anything to permit that blood from moving one animal to the next is a very important step in controlling anaplas. So effectively, mineral control, don't, don't share needles or change needles animal to animal, and we can go a long way toward preventing anaplas. As we think about holistic management year round, we do gain some upside by burning pastures. That's gonna help to control ticks, especially on those spring burns and anything we can do to rotate pastures and just use pesticides to keep flies and ticks off of cattle is gonna to work to our advantage as well. As always, thanks for joining us this week on Cow Calf Corner. <music>